Good morning. This morning, I got the trailer behind the truck. Uh oh. We're getting foggy. Getting a little foggy. Um, we're gonna pick up an excavator and we're going to the museum. And we have to dig out more areas for drain pipe, gutter drains. So that is the plan today. I'm just gonna be solo. Jose and Freddy might meet me out there eventually, but most of the work today is just gonna be digging out areas. We already picked up the pavers for a lot of these areas, so just gonna be digging the day away with a little mini X. So I will see you guys when I get to the museum with the excavator. All right, we have made it to the museum. I just unloaded the machine. So now I have to go and open the gate on from the inside so i have to come around this way i gotta walk all the way around the place to open up the gate that i need to enter through and so i'm gonna do that now and then start digging away start excavating the day away all right so these are the first two areas that we are dealing with here there is a curb concrete curb that runs underneath this line of pavers here that you can see right here so I'm gonna have to saw cut that out I'm not gonna do that today because I don't have my saw unless Jose gets here and has his saw we'll cut that out but we're gonna run a four inch perforated pipe coming out here from a new gutter that's going in right there and then over here same situation with the concrete curb here these pavers are thin set onto that concrete curb there's a gutter that's been there over there you can see the pipe right here and i believe that this is a six inch so there's a new gutter going in right here so we're going to tie these two together and run six inch pipe down to there and then there's one on the back of that purple house that i have all the pavers picked up at that we will go do last
home, man. Didn't you just fix these? We repaired all, everything over there, but we didn't repair these. There was no repairs right here. Well, it went all the way out. It was flat. No, there was, there was a, a repair over there on that side, and then all right here, like right where you're standing, back that way. That all got fixed. Um, I don't know. My yeah, mom. Were sick. My mom has it. Yeah. What'd you have? Just a cold. Still getting over it. I think everybody's got. It. Everybody's. Yeah. The carpenters had it. I had it. My nephews had it. My sister had it. Yep. It's going around. It is going around. Summertime cold. <laughs> well, I don't think mine was a cold. But I, oh. It felt like. The very first time I had COVID. Yeah. I had a hundred and one. First time I had COVID, I had a hundred and five. Jeez. I was like out of my mind. Yeah. I told my brother afterwards and he was like, It's a good thing you didn't tell me the doctor, brother. Yeah. It's a good thing you didn't tell me when it was happening, I had to put you in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, like, then you they would have put you on a ventilator. <laughs> well, I didn't have problems breathing. Yeah. It's you're just good. but that's how I felt. My temperature broke. I got a temperature Thursday. I worked, I probably shouldn't have, but I worked half a day yeah. on Thursday. And all I was doing was running around because I knew I had a temperature. I didn't want to be around it. Yeah. And then it broke Friday morning. I took all day Friday off. But what it reminded me of COVID, but I tested negative. What it reminded me was, and I, you know, I live in an official. Yeah. I pay next to nothing. But getting out of bed, walking 15 feet to the bathroom, peeing, and then getting back in bed, felt like I ran a marathon, man. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, I hope I don't have to pee again. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't... Sunday, I started feeling better. Good. Saturday, Friday and Saturday, I felt like shit. But that's, that's always what happens to me. I get sick Thursday or Friday, and then I feel like shit all weekend. Oh, I'm yeah. I have to work on Monday. Yep, always. You're by yourself today? Yeah. Yeah. Jose and them might stop by, but they're on a job on Siesta. And all I'm doing is digging this out tomorrow. I'm going to be setting all the pipes. So Where I got. You gotta run it to? Right out here, another rock, perforated pipe. That's it? Yeah. Well, hey. That one over there, we had to run it all the way down to the drain box, like 100 feet. But this one, there's like a lot. There's a shitload of rock in here. So we're just running it straight out here. And then there's one that I'm doing today behind the purple house, going straight out into that rock. Well, I saw that. I don't like. I don't like. Yeah. It. And I know where I got it from. I had to go to St. Pete and drill a six. I didn't drill it. Six-inch hole and a one and a half-inch hole in a concrete wall for a portable air conditioning. And JP met me up there. Yeah. So we're in a dental office. And you know how those exam rooms are. Yeah. They're smaller than my efficiency apartment. <laughs> and I helped them drill it. Right? Yeah. So we're like right there. I even help him load everything up because he's by himself. He gets all done. He goes, I don't know how we got started on it, but we were talking about something. He goes, oh, yeah, man, I was out all last week. I was sick. I was like, dude, mother. <laughs> what, what the hell? You just got me sick. What the hell? Anyway. Ethan got me sick. He was. Uh, Which one's Ethan? Ethan's the one who you see working with me all the, the time. Little, yeah, the little the guy. guy. Yeah. The yeah. Guy. Yep, the perm. He, uh, ah. on Wednesday last week, we were working. He's like, oh, dude, I don't feel good. I, my, my nose is all stuffed up. I'm like, God damn it. All right. No, I, no. The carpenters called. But I had them scheduled Monday. And they called and they, they were like, you know, one of them, Manuel, because they're brothers. Manuel was like, you know, I don't feel too bad. I said, uh-uh. <laughs> Get out of here. You know, the electric. I, mm -mm. And then Miguel called me today and he I said, how you feel? And he goes, I feel, I said, nah, -uh. we'll try it tomorrow. You know, I want you, I don't want to, uh-uh. The electrician showed up, Austin, well, yeah. Austin, and he was, I was like, why are you here? Because I already know the boss is my brother-in-law. Yeah. And I know how he is. If you're sick, just go home. He still pays you. Yeah. 
I told the one electrician yesterday when I was working here, I told him that I was sick, and he's like, oh, oh stay away from me. I was like, yeah, I got you. Told, well, ne that's Neil. Neil never Neil. gets sick. Yeah. Neil and my brother-in-law never get sick. <laughs> but yeah, he told me, and he goes, Tanner's sick, because he's heard my story. So yeah. he was like, stay away. I'm staying away from everybody, Neil. Don't you worry about it. I mean, that sign's cracking. You guys just put that thing up. I bonded the shit out of that. Dude. <laughs> Point that. Oh man, that, oh, I don't think I can get those. Oh man, I'm not gonna even say it. He says, Oh man. Well, I could probably fix a lot of it. Those guys are painting. Can't, you can't get those letters off. Those guys are painting that thing for a week and a half. Oh no, it, and it was a no, bullshit. I swear. It was already pre painted. I had him come back and put the final coat on. Yeah, well, it took him a week to do that. So what pressure washer company did you hire to come oh, in I here? Do <laughs> it no, was. I said it. And we were walking used... around. One day we were walking around, and Jared's just a nice guy. We were walking around, and she made a comment. I don't know what we were. I don't even remember what we were talking about. And she made a comment about pressure washing all the roofs. And I even said right in front of me, and Mary jumped all over it. Because PDF was like, we're done. We're not. Yeah. They used to strap, uh, and, and Mary jumped. I was like, oh yeah, can you do that? And uh, I was like, I don't think they want to get involved in that. And Jared was like, we really don't. The only way we'll do it is run a lift. And I said, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, I would think they'd just get up there with something and then. It gets wet, man. It's slippery and thick. Steel, slippery and Yeah, but you just tie off. Tie off the what? I don't fucking know. I don't oh, pressure wash right roofs. Ahead, you do it next time. <laughs> get one of your little landscapers. Oh, Jesus. Talk about no, a liability. No, 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 no. It was funny. I told her, I said, So, Mary, what happened with the pressure washer crew? They just paid. Uh, no, no, it was hilarious. She goes, She goes, Oh, don't even start. Like, you haven't hit a wall or ran over some gutters. Well, they just paid it. <laughs> what the hell are you doing today? Whatever Mary wants. <laughs> that we just saw was Reed, the superintendent for Gertis Construction, and they have done uh, all of the supervising of construction work here at the Marietta Museum for quite some time now. And we are actually not hired by Gertis Construction. We are hired by Mary Soley. And the only reason that is possible is because we were working for Mary, my mother was, before Gertis came along. So it's kind of like grandfathered our company in. that green pot right there that's goal number one don't hit the green pot
Said. Why did why did you uh, take a picture of him in front of his car in front of the flamingos? Yeah, that's what he wanted. <laughs> but yeah, no problem. I'll back up. <laughs> the mini x all loaded up i'm about to go take it back to the rental place and then tomorrow we will be setting pipes i'm gonna go buy the pipes today since i got time 